Hi, this is Margaret from DataMiningDNA.com. Ancestry has rolled out some changes to the display of the review of hints. A lot of people don't seem to like it. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips about how to see the hints the old way, and also a couple of tips on possibly mitigating what you don't like about the new display. So sit back and relax for this presentation on Happy Fun Times with Ancestry's new hints interface. So what exactly am I talking about? Let me just give you a look. So I'm on this particular profile here of someone in my tree. On the facts page, I'm going to go over to the hints page. And OK, that's not part of the new display, right? That's just being a bit slow. OK, so jump cut. That took one minute to open. So here's my hints page. I'll take this particular hint um, to a, a shipping passenger list. This is what's new. I'm going to click review. This area over here is a new display where there's a pop-up that takes about a third of the screen on the right and it shows you the information from the record the indexed information from the record and if you're thinking hang on a minute Margaret I don't see that much information well just bear with me I'm using a 19 inch monitor so this is what I see if I was using my laptop which is a 14 inch monitor I would see this. So here is a full window screenshot from my laptop if I was working on the laptop on my tree. And this is what is really getting to people. Is really there's only four lines displayed here. In order to see all the information, I'd have to scroll down to see all of this good stuff. And another thing that's irking people is that if you click on compare details here, so this would be if I was working on my 14 inch laptop screen, this is a full window of what I would see. Uh, yeah, this is not helpful at all. Yeah, again, more, more scrolling. In terms of reactions, this is what I'm seeing out there on social media, forums, etc. Person saying, well, I'd rather go to a page where the hint is displayed full page, right? Which is basically how it used to used to be. And I just want to give you a quick tip that you can do exactly that. So quick tip on a laptop or desktop, right click the review button. Instead of clicking it, just right click. You get the pop up menu and choose open link a new tab. And regardless of whether you're using Chrome or another browser, a right click will give you a menu that looks like this. Open link a new tab. Here's my second tab opened. Go in here and this probably looks very familiar, right? Because this is pretty much the old version. Now what I'm not getting is the side by side comparison. So you do have to toggle back and back and forth. I don't have a touch screen, so I noticed somebody was commenting if you're working from a touch screen, you will probably have to touch and hold the review button for the new tab option to show up. I can't test that, but hopefully that works for you. So this is a kind of a common reaction and a negative reaction is that now this right hand pop up makes you go to three pages and multiple scrolls to add one document. That right click new tab may mitigate this particular problem. Another reaction is that the text is in a smaller hard to read data entry box. Okay, So I switched recording to my laptop screen and just again to show the hints, the new display, I'm clicking on review, not right clicking. And here we go, and we have just these short four lines displayed, and I have to scroll down in order to see the rest of the information. Yeah, it is a little bit crammed in, all right. If you're finding it difficult with, with reading the screen, try using the browser to increase, to decrease the resolution. So if you hold down control and click the plus, you see what you're getting is larger text, right? <laughs> that, again, by increasing the amount of the size of the text, you're getting less text on the page. If you're having difficulty reading small text, you can use the browser functions there. So that's holding down the control key and clicking the plus and alternatively this little zoom. Uh, that's me, I've just control plus and zoomed it in by 10%. You can plus up and plus down. So I'm back on my full monitor screen again. Uh, this is another reaction, which I'm sympathetic with because I'm also a left-handed person. And this individual says that she found it easier to document when the information was in the center as opposed to being over on the right. That's something I would actually raise with Ancestry if you're having trouble with it. In other words, I would either send them a support ticket or comment on their Facebook page. So it's conceivable that they didn't factor that into their testing. 
Next up is a misconception. So I've seen this pop up a few times where the individual isn't seeing the change. People are talking or they're, they're commenting and posting, saying, oh, this is the worst thing in the world. It's, it's terrible. It's unusable. And somebody pops up and says, oh, I don't think so. I do not think they're changing anything because that person doesn't see it. I do not think they're changing anything, else everyone would be getting the changes. That is not how Ancestry rolls out its software changes. As a global website with multiple sites across internationally, they do roll out changes almost area by area. So, yeah, they, they, they do f roll out changes and phases. This comment I saw pop up perhaps several times that... If you click on the header, it will take to the screen that is usually used to save the hint. So I think what they're saying is that this is the header. I'll just close the hint screen. If I click on review, that screen opens on the right. If I click on this, it opens on the right. So maybe they're talking about the header here. What happens if I click on that? Oh, okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> there you go. That's what they're referring to. You see, I, I wouldn't like to do this because I've now lost... It's, it's changing the same screen. I like opening a new tab in order to get back to the original uh, page. I have to click the back button. Yeah, I like having the two tabs and just toggling between them. And some people do not. I can understand that. My apologies to this person. You're actually correct. Here's me also kind of saying don't think so in that there was a bit of a conversation going on in a particular thread on a form with one individual saying, ah, the format makes it seem like it was developed for phones. And another person being a little bit suspicious and saying, yeah, we think Ancestry want one interface. So the developers don't have to work on two different interfaces. So you've got the phone app and you've got the website interface. And the suspicion here is that Ancestry want to make them exactly the same. So I actually don't think this is the case because I'm actually quite happy with the new display. The reason being is that I can see much of the information. I like having all the info on one screen, but I've got a big screen. So this is my 19 inch monitor where I have very little scrolling to do on this particular record. And I can see the info over here and I can see the info over here. I think it's actually more useful for people who use a desktop computer or have multiple monitors. Be that as it may, I may be wrong. Who knows why they rolled it out this way. And one more thing, this is back in January as it was just being rolling out and people were saying that when they clicked on the review, they're like, well, what what's supposed to happen? Because they were seeing just a big white space here. Always, if you get a whiff that Ancestry is rolling out changes and things are getting a little bit glitchy for you and you're seeing white space, etc. The answer is what Ancestry always tells you, no matter what problem that you have. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong, but in this case, they're probably right. Clear your cache. So what would be going on here is that you have cached the older version of the website page. The new version is loading and the two different pages, they're conflicting with each other and that you get all kinds of glitches. So the Ancestry response to every single support query, which is, oh, clear your cache. Well, in this case, they're, they're probably right, clear your cache. There was just one more thing that I wanted to um, to show you, which has got nothing to do with the new display. Um, maybe it has, maybe it hasn't, but here, see here the compare details. If I hit compare details, it gives me my three details where I've got parents, I've got siblings, I've got spouse and children. And it's all empty here because that information is not part of the indexed record. But top tip, always view the image when there is an image. Click view on this. I'm just going to scroll in and take this over here. See here, we've got this information here. This is a particular individual. We have listed Thomas. We have this individual. We have a Rose and we have a Philip. But adult, adults, children, infants. So we do have additional information of children and their names on the image relating to this individual. The index record is what you see on the comparison. And that is the details that Ancestry have grabbed in terms of the transcription that has been put into the search index. 
and that's what they're using in the comparison. But there is more information there that can help you make your decisions. And, you know, it's useful to go right, go one page to the right and go one page to the left. And you can find really fantastic information that you won't see here. So as far as I can see, the individual who's part of this record has children listed on that um, on the image, but they just they're not part of the indexed record. So always go look at the image. If you'd like some more tips on evaluating ancestry hints and including looking at the images, I've got a an article purely on strategies for evaluating ancestry hints and um, go to a bit of a similar case study as to what I mentioned on this video. If you're not too sure what I mean by the concept of the index record, this article goes into it in more detail between the differences between what's indexed and what's actually in the record itself. I'll put a link in the description below. Well, I'll leave that there. Hope that helps and best of luck with your research.